can the three B's prove that belief in God is worthwhile? Or is this just another waste of time looking at the irrationality of the theist? Place your bets. Let's go see. Here's a small channel called Life Journey, where a theist does what pretty much all theists tend to do, make no sense of any kind in trying to rationalize their religious beliefs. And it's clear these people have never even thought about it much, because it's so ridiculously easy to poke holes in their ideas that anyone who sat down to ponder their beliefs, even for a moment, would realize just how empty and absurd it all is. But that's why we're here, isn't it? To point out all of the uncomfortable realities that the religious would rather pretend don't exist. So here we go, examining the three B's. To the atheists, I got three B's why I believe God. Hey, I've got some insecticide if you want it. Because while the religious often say that they have reasons why they believe, those reasons never, ever stand up to the light of reason. They're never good reasons. They're only ad hoc rationalizations. And I think this is important, but if you notice, all of the people who say that they have reasons to believe in God, those are never the reasons that they believe in God. They did not come to a belief in God for those reasons. Ever. It just didn't happen. And if they weren't convinced themselves by these things, why do they think it would convince anyone else? I don't know, but sure, let's see what you've got. I got the glory to God, the, 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 the belief, the glory to God. I have no idea what the hell he just said, and neither does Google's auto subtitle. So, what, is he speaking in tongues or something? This guy kind of reminds me of the pastor over at Existential University. And that's not good or bad, that's just true. I got the Bible, and I got, glory to God, I bow to the creator of the universe. I'm bowing now. All right, I think I sort of figured it out. His three B's seem to be belief, the Bible, and I think he's bowing down to his imaginary father figure in the sky. As predicted, none of these are actually good reasons to believe anything. In fact, these are the same reasons that anyone can give for believing in anything. Anything at all. I believe in the flying spaghetti monster. I have the gospel of the flying spaghetti monster, and I bow down and embrace her noodly appendages. That doesn't mean the flying spaghetti monster is real. It doesn't mean that the belief is valid. This is just wishful thinking disguised as rationality. But it's anything but rational. How the religious can be so ignorant, I do not understand. Hey, glory to God, because I have a belief, because I want to get to heaven. So, circular reasoning. I believe in the flying spaghetti monster because I want to enjoy delicious pasta. Okay, just because you want it doesn't mean it's real. Rational people, which the religious simply are not, but rational people recognize that desire doesn't change reality. It doesn't matter how much you want a thing, it matters whether that thing actually exists. All the wishes and dreams in the world won't make the non-existent suddenly exist. This is just stupid. Because in Mark 16, verse 16, he said, He that believeth not shall be damned. So I want to believe, and I have the Bible. You have a book written by delusional mythicists, and because you really want the empty promises that they hold out, you're going to believe something which cannot be independently verified because it makes you feel good. This guy is proving how to do everything wrong. And I mean everything. There is nothing intelligent in what he's saying here at all. And honestly, I think he's a lot more representative of theists 
than most theists would like to acknowledge. The Bible is all inspiration of God. The Bible is without error. The Bible, glory to God, it might not be the basic concern before leaving earth. Glory to God, but I believe the Bible. You see, I sent forth my word and healed them, and also I bowed. The Bible says, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. He's just running around in circles, isn't he? He wants eternal life because he can't deal with reality. He therefore believes whatever it says in the Bible because it appeals to him on an emotional level. And because he so desperately wants that empty promise, he'll bow down to something that cannot be shown to be real because feelings. And this is supposed to impress anyone. I think not. So I got no three B's. What do you have? I have reality. Maybe you ought to give that a shot. But, you know, reality isn't comforting. It doesn't offer emotionally validating claims, which don't stand up to any intellectual evaluation. Reality doesn't care about your feelings. It doesn't care about you. And that's a scary thing for people who've never really grown up, who remain emotional children, stunted in their development because they've never had to deal with the state of reality whether they like it or not. And for some reason, people are really proud of that. It's like people got on YouTube and were really proud that they got scammed by some fake psychic or because they got taken in by unscientific flat earth nonsense. Oh wait, that happens too! Because these people are all stupid. Nothing but, but a belief not. Nothing but a belief not. No, nothing but caring about the actual state of the real world and not believing in things which cannot be independently and objectively verified to be actually true. And you shouldn't believe that either. The fact that you do says something about you that you shouldn't be proud of. But religion has poisoned the mind of the faithful to think that being irrational is good for you. That it's something that we should all aspire to. Because it fulfills a weak-willed and weak-minded emotional need that, well, stupid people have. And I hate to call them stupid, but... It is. This kind of thinking is stupid. It is encouraging people to believe something for which there's no good reason to think is so, for entirely emotional reasons, because it makes them feel better. It is an intellectual failing. What else can you call that other than stupid? Because stupid means having or showing a great lack of intelligence or common sense. Religion is the textbook definition of the term. And people like this guy are just reveling in it. They're proud of it. They think that they're doing a good thing. And they're wrong. Very, very wrong. But the religious couldn't care less, can they? Because it feels good. Well, it might feel good to stick your dick in a toaster, but that's a really, really stupid thing to do. But the religious are ignorant to the harm because it's intellectual, not physical. So long as they get an emotional high, it's all good. But it's not. That's why it's so important to call these people out on these really asinine belief systems. It doesn't make a difference how it makes you feel unless it's true. Objectively, demonstrably, with evidence, true. And they don't have that. They know they don't have that. Which makes the whole practice of religion utterly idiotic. And that's not okay.